From 13 WREX, this is 13 Cares. Good morning, everyone. I'm Jeannie Hayes. Um, most women, or a lot of women in their lifetime, are going to either become pregnant or know someone who's pregnant. But until you go through it or have a family member go through it, you don't really know what to expect. So uh, Terry Miller Tarquini, am I saying that right? Yep, that's is here with a book that you wrote that's like a funny look at pregnancy, yes. but also has some really good information. Because my sister just had her first baby last year, and I know that she kind of went into it blind. So she could have used a book like this. Yes, a lot of women go into it blind, and that's the thing is that you know there's so much information out there, but we you don't think it's going to happen to you. Right. And so, you know, as soon as you get pregnant, everybody tells you all the horror stories. And you don't want to hear the horror stories. You want to get some information, but be able to laugh about it. Right. And that was the book I wanted to write, was to get some information out there, but to also make it so it was like your girlfriends were talking to you and telling you all kinds of funny stuff. And that's what we need. You don't want to read, like, just a straight medical book. Like, you need someone to, like, give you the scoop on what's really going yes. on, because I'm sure there's a lot of weird stuff. Even the title of the book is funny. It's Pregatory. <laughs> yes, it's, it's Pregatory, True Pregnancy Great. Confessions of a Gal and Her Pals. And the concept behind it is that it was... My story is the main thread through it, but it is dozens and dozens and dozens of my girlfriends and colleagues and coworkers and pretty much anybody who's come in contact with me over the years that their stories are interwoven throughout the whole thing too. That's great. And actually, we should mention you're good friends with our anchor, Katie Milson. Yes, yes. And is, her, is any of her pregnancy in there? Because her yes. son just turned one. Yes. Uh, there, are, there are a couple Katie stories in here, but I, I will never, <laughs> never say which ones. So, That's great. Yeah. <laughs> so were you actually working on this while you were pregnant or did you do it later? Um, um, the idea came about actually a couple years before I got pregnant, oh, and okay. so a, a, one of my best friends suggested that this should be a book I write at some point when I got pregnant. So and did you get pregnant to do the book? Then? I, no, I did not. No, no. And uh, so when I got pregnant, I did start taking some notes, okay. and I really honestly never thinking I'd actually write the whole thing. Yeah. And uh, at 12 weeks left of my pregnancy, I was 28 weeks pregnant, I was put on strict, totally non-mobile bed rest. And I thought I was going to lose my mind. And the yeah. same girlfriend called me and said, this is your opportunity. This will be your sanity saver, savior. Sit down and write the book. Yeah, because you have all that free time on your hands. You're yeah. going through it as you're writing. Yes. That's so funny. I kind of went back and through my notes. And um, I'd always joked with my girlfriends over the years mm -hmm. that one day their different stories would end up in a novel I wrote, whatever stories those were. There you go. And so they are in there now. Nobody is named. Uh, okay. No names are used, I say, to protect the crazy and the crazier. Gotcha. So, um, yeah, you, it's, it's hard to identify who people are, but I had a lot of, you know, friends calling, is that so-and-so? Is that so -and -so? <laughs> I, I won't say. I will oh, you won't even tell your deny. friend? Nope, I will neither confirm or deny. Whoever's story it is is going to recognize their own yes. story, Yeah, and sure. they've called me and said, am I on page 10? That's and I'll funny. say, well, do you think you're on page 10? Yeah, that's me. I'm on page 10. So are these, like, <laughs> embarrassing stories, or what kind of stories you are know, you sharing? some of them are. I mean, there's a lot with pregnancy that, that is embarrassing. There's a lot of things that are stressful, and I think that's part of why people don't talk about it a lot. You know, they, they think yeah. they're the only ones going through it or it's just too embarrassing to talk well, about. Well, and you want to be polite. So, yeah, of course, my pregnancy's going great. Right. And then you go home and it's yeah. wrong. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And I, I've been blessed with uh, not only very inspiring women friends, but also very, very, very funny women friends who okay. really share everything. Yeah. And so uh, a lot of their stories that I heard over their journeys really just kind of got filed away in the back of my mind for possibly something later on. And and this was the something that came up later on. So, have you found that a lot of people who read the book are like, "Yep, I did that. That happened to me." Like, I mean, because it, yeah. it seems like everyone would have a similar experience, even though different things happen to different people. Yeah, it came out a couple months ago, and I get reviews all the time, and I just it's it's been overwhelming the positive wow. reviews. People just keep telling me how funny it is. Yeah. This you know awesome easy read that they're laughing the whole way through, their belly laughing and and things like that. So, and that's you know what I really wanted to accomplish was getting because nobody's pregnancy journey is the same. Mm -hmm. I really wanted to get a lot of different people's stories out there. Great. And uh, we picked the title Pregatory uh, because really pregnancy is the biggest limbo there is. You're waiting for the next big thing to happen and here you are in this middle nine yeah. to ten month phase where you don't know what's going on and you know and you, it, it's, it's, a, it's a limbo. It really is. And, and it must feel you know, like it takes forever. It does, you know, because you're, you're ready to get on to the next thing. Right. You want the next thing to happen. And so yeah. that, was, uh, that, that was why we, we picked that title and you know I think that's uh, hilarious. For women, you know, who are in that limbo, mm -hmm. it's a great thing for them to be able to read and laugh. Well, and it fits the theme of the book perfectly, which is humor. Yes. You know what I mean? You look at the cover of this book. I don't know if you want to hold it up against the people and see. You look at the cover and you know, you know you're going to get a humorous <laughs> read. Yeah. And I like that it's an easy read, too, because a lot of people, you know, someone will recommend a book. Oh, you're pregnant. Great. Read this 500-page book. And it's right. like, 
then all of a sudden you're pregnant and you have homework. Yes. And so it's great. So you can just like, can you just pick it up and read a chapter and then put it down? Yeah, it's uh, 35 chapters. They're all very short though. Okay. So, you know, it just kind of, you know, flies along really, really easily. And yeah. so it is great for somebody who is pregnant but also for uh, anyone who has just been pregnant recently. You know, if you have a new mom, uh, it's, it's great because they also have a little perspective. They can laugh at it a little bit yeah. easier maybe than they did when they were actually pregnant. Sure. But it's a great baby shower gift. and it's you know it's, That would be a great baby yeah. shower gift. Yeah, because I've had a lot of people do that. A lot of people have said, well, I'm not having babies anymore. And I said, well, do you know anybody who's pregnant? You know, yeah. Oh, I do. And then they've given it to somebody for their baby shower and just, oh, they loved it. It was great. Okay. And, you know. Now, usually women will have a baby shower as they're closer to delivery. So would mm -hmm. you recommend this book for somebody who's like eight months pregnant? Or should people be getting this like as soon as they find out so they can read it as they go along? Yeah. I think really in any phase. I mean, you know, it's it's just it. You know, any you know, if you read it later, you're going to have a different perspective on it than you do in the beginning. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I think really any phase. Like I said, even the new moms, it's it's a really, it, it's good for so it's good for a lot of laughs. So if you read it right after you were just pregnant, I'm sure you'll be like, oh, now now it's hilarious. Yeah. Now that I'm done. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot funnier in retrospect. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's great. What? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. People keep telling me that you know you'll forget labor and things mm -hmm. like that. And I kind of laugh and say, I don't think I ever will because yeah. um, I wrote it down and now I've read this about 300 times. So sure. I don't think I'll ever forget my actual labor story. <laughs> well, I've wondered about that because a, a lot of moms say that like, oh, you know, I, th I think they kind of haze over it and they just remember the moment when the baby uh -huh. was born. And that's great. But I'm sure when you're like on your way to the hospital, it doesn't feel that way. No. You know? And, you know, there is, a, a, you know, except when I was in the hospital, um, I was there for a couple days after I had her mm -hmm. and um, I started texting myself all the information. The book follows okay. from us trying to conceive mm -hmm. through our drive home from the hospital. So, so the entire journey, the entire exactly. journey, beginning to end. And it, um, I was texting myself these notes so that when I got home, I'd remember it because it was all just such yeah. a blur when I was actually in the hospital sure. um, that I didn't want to forget it. I wanted to remember all of it and, and be able to write it down accurately and share it with people. So yeah, have you gone back to the uh, to the doctors or the nurses that helped you deliver with this? Yeah, and actually they've really <laughs> enjoyed it. They have it out at their doctors in my different doctor's offices. And oh, that's yeah, great. Yeah, they, they they were very excited about it. That's great. Um, and where can people buy the book? The book is available on Amazon. It's okay. also available at the publisher's website, which is lulu.com. And you just look for Pregatory. Which which is very easy to remember. Yes, and uh, or we also have a Facebook page, so Facebook slash Pregatory. Facebook.com slash Pregatory. Yes. We want to take a quick break, but I'm dying to know what some of these funny stories are. So we'll be right back and we'll take a look at some of those. Great, thank you.